What's up guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Strength of Light Horse series. And uh, in the first one we were talking about them, uh, the role of Light Horse in a barbarian or barbarian engagement. So in this one we are going to talk about them versus civilized factions main, uh, main example is Rome. Because you're not going to bring any other civilized faction against a, a faction like a, like a Boyai or Attilus. So in this matchup of course I've taken Boyai and I'm fighting up against uh, the Pooner, the Pawner from the Sith clan. And uh, he, he was talking about a Rome counter to Barbarians, uh, which we want to test. And uh, this is, let's see how it goes. I've taken two Levy Freeman up uh, against Rome. Again, the reason why I wouldn't bring a lot of Levy Freeman against these uh, against this faction is because one, they're heavily armored, so javelins don't have as much of an impact. Um, and two, you know, they don't have a lot of cavalry or very good cavalry options. You don't really see a lot of cavalry being brought with uh, Rome. So in that sense, Levy Freeman won't have as much of a uh, role as they can pro potentially play. So actually, no, I've brought three Levy Freeman. I've also brought four Celtic Warriors uh, behind my main line. There are going to be two behind uh, the flank of each of my main line. I brought uh, a total of four Sword Followers and two Old Swan. And I've brought five Heavy Horse and one Light Horse unit. Now, the Pooner, on the other hand, I can see immediately that he's brought a lot of cavalry. He's brought five Equites. He has brought a total of five Veteran Legionaries, five Principes behind them, and a total of four Hastati, I believe, and one Legatus General, of course. So, Veteran Legionaries will destroy my Sword Followers in a one-on-one -on -one engagement, but my Sword Followers can destroy the Principes on a one-on-one -on -one engagement, so it just depends on how he takes his engagements. But in that sense, apart from all of that, I've actually got a wild card here, which is my Light Horse, and take a look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to issue a chain order, if you guys don't know what that is, it's uh, just double right-clicking and then holding shift while you do that, which means that they'll, char they'll run into this um, uh, location, and then charge in here, and then charge in here, and then that's exactly what I want to do. I want to use them super aggressively, just put them in a very dangerous position, but super far away in that sense i could use their speed uh, to charge in whenever required but they've been at a safe distance away from the rest of his forces here i got a uh, um, uh, jalun dolly onto his equities i'm going to counter charge with my equity uh, with my heavy horse against his equities here and then i'm going to follow it up with some sword followers uh, blunt the charge kill off some of his equities in there and uh, here my sword followers are going to charge into his study kill them off very quickly i've also got a jalun dolly onto his veteran legionaries with my levy freeman pulling them back Coming in with Oathsworn and Sword Followers against one of his veteran legionaries, and no, against two veteran legionaries. My Oathsworn will destroy his legionaries in the process, and uh, my Sword Followers will die. So I'm going to support with another Celtic Warrior over here. Now you can see exactly what these Light Horse are uh, effectively doing. He's already pulled out uh, some of his equities over here, and uh, two of his equities are going to give chase. He's got, got three equities next to his general, uh, but what that does is it's given me. Uh, an opportunity to uh, to close in on my right flank with my heavy horse so you can see I'm closing in here with uh, two of my heavy horse and I'm going to be able to charge into his Astadi who are braced I don't think they'd be able to get some javelins on and you can see that these two equities are giving chase to my one light horse because it is in an aggressive position and it is a threat if he leaves it unchecked but the thing is that these medium missile cavalry will never catch up to light missile cav uh, light melee cavalry um, so I can just keep running and that's that's no problem for me I'm going to pull back with my heavy horse here. They've taken a ton of casualties. Again, using a light horse in that sense would probably have been just as effective. But now that they're pulled back, I can keep them at the rear of my army. Uh, my sword followers have obviously destroyed that Hastadi. They haven't done anything to my sword followers. Here, my heavy horse got countercharged by his equities, but it was a bit too late. I think they've already got a lot of kills on this Hastadi, and they've bogged down this, this line so that I can charge in with Celtic warriors here. Here, sword followers doing okay against veteran legionaries. My general has got already 52 kills. Uh, here my old one is, uh, they haven't engaged properly against his veteran legionaries, doesn't look like they've, they've done much. Um, but I've got two uh, Levy Freeman here, I've got a full strength Celtic warrior and I've got another Levy Freeman that's firing into the rear of these uh, veteran legionaries. Now you can see my uh, light horse have not taken any casualties, they've gone into a very decent position. And I'm going to bring in a heavy horse here to kill off one of his equities. I can do that because I, again I have a, a cavalry here that's ready to rear charge if anything happens. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's okay for me to, you know, basically engage his equities with my heavy horse so far away from the rest of my main line. Now my light horse. This is a huge role that they, that they played. They're going to, they actually have access to two javelin volleys, which really makes a huge dip, impact. They've killed off two of his legatus, and they're going to come in for a gen snipe here. And again, there was not much he could do, even though he used used his cavalry to chase off these units. They're just so quick, and they're so resistant to fatigue that they just would never be able to catch up to them. Already killed four of his legatus with my light horse here, and uh, you know even if even if they all die in the process, but they still kill a lot of his legatus, then that's good enough for them. 
uh, they've caused a huge amount of disruption in his main line. Once your opponent knows that his general is under attack, then all of his uh, attention is going to be left there. So in that sense, he, there's only so much uh, amount that someone can micro. So in that sense, you can take uh, advantage of that and just use, um, uh, you know, use that opportunity to move around with your main line. And that's exactly where the most amount of kills is going to happen here. Eight kills on his Legatus so far. Uh, his Legatus is down. Actually, I've killed off probably some equities also. Uh, here, I've also killed off, ganged up on one of his uh, equities and killed them off with my heavy horse. Again, he wasn't able to uh, micro with those units. They got a, they got frontally charged by uh, heavy horse because he was uh, focused on trying to keep his Legatus alive and bringing some reinforcements. My heavy horse is already starting to waver. Again, that's that terrible base morale that's coming into play. But, you know, job already done, well done by these units, I think. Veteran Legion is going to kill off my sword followers, but I've got a heavy horse here to support. Uh, I've pulled away with my oath zone there and I've engaged these veteran legionaries in the process, so they'll, they'll obviously do very well. Um, still haven't, uh, yeah, I used headhunt already once, so 108 kills with my oath zone general. I'm just going to destroy these uh, veteran legionaries. And um, Light Horse is wavering, but they're, they're still not routed, which is good for me. Now I'm going to be able to use the extra amount of heavy horse that I have to start charging into his very depleted prink base. He's uh, uh, pulling out with some of his equities here, but that means that I can I can get some more kills with my heavy horse onto his Legatus. They're starting to drop pretty quickly now, they've only got 20 men left. Charged into his Prinkapes, and I'm going to pull through and uh, hit the rear of his Prinkapes with my uh, heavy horse, so that my Celtic Warriors can destroy the rest of his units. I'm also going to charge into these veteran legionaries, and then pull back with them. And I'm going to use the, the javelins that this Levy Freeman have to get uh, a, you know, a nice javelin volley onto the rear of these, of these units. I actually only got one kill from that entire javelin volley. Uh, so 20 kills almost with my light horse so far. Um, his leg is starting to drop. Again, going to give enough time to, to tie down these units so that I can bring a, a levy freeman here to support. And my heavy horse is killed off that equities and is going to come in here to support as well. 23 kills here so far. He's forced to pull out with his leg is general to counter charge my heavy horse. But in the process, his general is almost obviously going to die. I put shield wall onto my old stone to protect them just to uh, make them last longer here my old stone is going to get into veteran legionaries to completely destroy them and here his principes are just too depleted to really do too much um, so i've brought a levy freeman to support there his um, uh, principes have killed off one of my sword followers but I, they're going to get uh, flank charged by two celtic warriors pulling back with my light horse and my heavy horse over here light horse just done a brilliant job here and uh, his legates have uh, have routed and that's going to cause a pretty big morale waiver i think uh, across the, the very disciplined Roman line. General dead, already they're down to steady, the Principes with 57 units left, and they're also losing decisively this, the, their combat, so they're going to start wavering. They're already shaken. Two of the units are starting to waver, veteran legionaries just wavering. They've done very well though, 214 kills. But speaking of doing well, 209 kills with my old sword, and I've already popped a second headhunt and uh, battle rhythm, so they're going to really start racking up the kills. Going to rear charge with my heavy horse. And uh, the other heavy horse is just tied down as veteran legionaries. So I hope this gave this gave you guys a better idea of what these light horse can do. Just cause disruptions. Not they won't get a lot of kills uh, unless you use them on a frontal charge. But you will sacrifice them in the process. So yeah, they won't get a lot of kills. But you can use the extra speed they have and the huge speed differential between these units and the heavy melee cav that uh, other other cavalry or sorry, uh, other factions have uh, to your advantage. Just use them super aggressively, move them around, uh, draw your enemy's cavalry out to just try and chase after them, and then maybe even get a gen snipe if, in case you know the the opponent is bringing a general bodyguard unit or a legatus unit. The second obviously big usage of these light horse is to uh, frontal charge, yolo charge, because again they have the same melee stats as heavy horse. Uh, they just don't have the melee defense, but melee defense is never going to come into play. It is the uh, melee attack stats because you're going to charge in and then you're going to pull out. And you're obviously going to take a lot of casualties. So in that sense, might as well take casualties on a cheap light horse compared to a more expensive heavy horse, especially when they're going to do the same uh, role. And yeah, I mean, that's that's basically it. That's really why I think that Light Horse is a, a good unit um, uh, to bring. And especially with Tillis, you know, it's just so important to bring it with Tillis because it gives your uh, army a mobility that it severely lacks, especially when comparing it to a Bowie Eye or something like that. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this battle. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Peace.